we're just going to talk a few minutes about kind of some concept just to just to kind of get to work in a concept a little bit and then we'll actually do it in real life now just ignore me just think about think what's your favorite thing to do Try, ride your horse without him ride your horse without him eating think think i want you to imagine that you're sitting in your barn oiling this saddle okay okay, okay. All, right. all right all right now i want you to comp really focus on oiling your saddle and i want you to take note of how easy it is for you to keep your focus on what you want to do okay. as i approach you like this You noticed I never really took your mind off of that saddle. Now, watch this. Do the exact same thing. Okay. Hey! Holy crap. <laughs> now, but did you know, now, did you notice how it was like... Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it was like, whoa. Oh, snap. Something, <laughs> something happened over there. Now... You noticed how every time before I've gone to the extreme, I've been feather light. You noticed before I went, hey, I did this. Yeah, you did. And then I yeah, went right did. there. So I, bar I barely stroked her hand with the tip of my finger every time. And then I went, hey. Okay. So another way to look at this is uh, a guy would talk about, uh, boiling frogs, like I guess frog legs or something. It's kind of, I'm trying to think of a better terminology, but. Real, it was real frogs. Yeah. Put them in the pot and they got warmer and warmer and warmer and didn't realize they were being cooked. Exactly, because it was a gradual increase. Okay. So now imagine if you got, imagine if you were already pretty hot and you got in a hot tub. It wouldn't feel that warm. But if you jumped in a pool and then you got in the hot tub, you'd be like, whoa, it is hot. This water is hot. Exactly. The longer you stay in there and wear that heat and you wear it and you wear it, the more adapt you get. So you say, you know, this, is, this, this isn't as hot as it was when I first got in. So if you approach it like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14 pounds, 15 pounds, 16 pounds, 17 pounds. Right. You, your horse can get to where they will just learn to wear that pressure Correct. versus if you went from the frog, let's take the frogs, if you went from 50 degree room temperature water and then you were suddenly able to get it to go to 200, those frogs would feel that and they would go, yo, and they'd jump out. Mm -hmm. Now there's a difference in hanging on your horse and just accidentally teaching him to ignore one, then you go to two, then you go to three. Well, this is what the horse says. Well, it'll be another 20 seconds before it gets to where it's enough to make, uncomfortable enough to where I want to try to get, get her to quit trying to, hold on, pull, pull my head up. Can, can you see how a horse could start to get like that? He says, oh, she's at five. I got ten more minutes. You see, you see, now that could apply to everything. That could apply to backing, halter work, all of that. The previous owners of this horse, for ten years, let's just call it ten, whatever, for ten years, longer than that. Let's call it for fifteen years, this horse inadvertently was trained to push through pressure and grab food despite what the rider was doing. So he has been, whether, we, whether the rider realized that or not, he was taught to push and it's easier. A horse never does right and they never do wrong. They do what becomes easy. So if they have repeatedly made it easier to just push through and grab the food, then it would be to not do that well, he's, of course, why shouldn't he do that? That's been the easiest. Now, if you were able to make it extremely difficult, if he even started to reach for it, before long he would start to say, oh my gosh, it's, it's different now. If I even think and start to, t and we'll talk about why you want to get there when it just starts in a second, but... Oh my gosh, if I even start to lean towards anything besides staying right with my rider and going down the trail, 
It's, I mean, a immovable brick wall gets built just like this. Okay, so a brick wall is right here. So if I get close, I feel it coming. Oh snap, if I go one more inch, that brick, I'm gonna run into that brick wall. The brick wall isn't gonna punch me in the face. There's a wall here and I'm hitting it. See the difference there? The pressure is self-inflicted. If I come here and do this, Am I hitting my hand or is the hand hitting me? No, my mouth is running into the hand. The pressure has to be self-inflicted. Otherwise, and that's with everything. They have to think that the pressure was self-inflicted. That's why it's all this talk about timing. If they don't think the pressure is self-inflicted, you'll have attitudes, they'll get heavier, things like that. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see the full version of this video, plus all of my other videos, you can do that by logging on to the Carson James Members website. If you're not a member yet and would like to sign up, just click the link here in the corner. If you don't see a link here, just click the one below.